Well, it's happened again, isn't it? It's, it's, it's always something with this McGann. I'll tell you now, it's always something. Uh, she was a bit low, that one, was she? She's too far down, she is. Shit. That's not good. Well, the boys, engine could be coming out. <laughs> so how's it going, guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Luke. It's Zebby TV. And uh, yeah, the McGann's broke again. Now, if you remember, probably about two months ago, we had the new refurbished gearbox put into the McGann. Now, I don't know what's happened. I, I think I'm pretty sure of it. The diff bearings have failed or they've collapsed or something's happened and it is making the horrendous noise again, which I'll put on as a clip right now. So as you can see, it's uh, it's not it's not not the best of things, and it's pretty horrendous. But it's it's happened, and we are here now. So we can't look down on it. We can't be defeated by it. And we're not going to be. It's not made me got to the point where I'm like, oh, I'm going to sell it now, because that usually is what happens. A lot of us, I can't I can't lie here. I know a lot of you guys will be the same. You'll be like, oh shit, I've got to spend more money on getting this thing sorted. I might as well do it and sell it on. I don't worry about it, but no, that's the life you've got to have when you've got a McGann. Things will go wrong and shit will hit the fan, and that's just the way it is. Now, what are we going to do about it? So, down here at uh, Ducks Club again, Sub 7 Auto works well. Aaron is going to be on the case. Luckily, uh, the guy, is, or the gearbox itself, is on warranty, so it's going straight back. It's getting taken out tonight, going straight back, and things are getting done. I think, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure here, there's another issue as well. I think, and I'm pretty sure when we went, we went to K-Tech, we took the car to K-Tech, and they did a compression test, and I think the cylinder three is low in compression. Now, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know if it was a previous map or what's happened. I know the car's on high mileage and stuff like that, but it ran like a dream on the previous map, on the EFI map. I should have just left it as it was instead of fucking about with it on the map. I really shouldn't, I wish I did now. But it, we got to the point where there's just so much going on, it's gonna cost me a bomb. But it's made me think, do we now go for the big Forge build? And it's like, you know, it's going on my brain, and it's here like, Luke, it's a lot of money, and you guys are gonna think that as well. I know it's gonna be a lot of money, it's probably gonna be like another 10 grand to get the, the engine Forge with the power I wanna go for. And I'm here like, shit, do I do it? And if I do do it, it is gonna be an absolute animal. Uh, there's not going to be a lot that will touch it on the track. It'll be like Porsche GT3 RS territory, like chasing them down. They're already like, you know, up with Porsche GT3s, Porsche GT4s on track as they are, like the sort of power around 300, 350 horsepower. There's just so much going on in my brain right now. I need to get sorted. So I'm going to wait for Aaron to turn up and uh, we'll go from there. We'll, we'll, get his, we'll get his view. Let's get Aaron's view on it. Here he is, the little sweetheart. Roasty boy. boy. We're always off in a little turbo. Oh, is that the one from your work? Is this one from your work? Yeah. <laughs> what an animal. Yeah, this is cool. I see what you mean now, but wow, like, it looks quite stock. Yeah. But it's an animal. Yeah, it's a weapon. Oh, mate, this is cool. So I don't What's that down there? That? Yeah. To change the damping on the shocks. <laughs> you, can't, you can't get a GPS controlled one. That's from mad. Yeah, it's sick. Do you reckon your boss would do the, let you do, have a, do a video on this? Yeah. Oh, mate, guys, honestly, drop a comment if you want to see that. How much power is it running, Aaron? Uh, about 280 at the minute. 280, boosted MX5. Literally looks like your granddad's just rocked up, but he's about to send you down the strip. <laughs> what the hell, man? Yeah, full stock, two manifold. It's all fresh as well. Yeah, we, when in lockdown, we completely took the engine out and completely rebuilt it. Mate, this is cool. Yeah, mate, she's a Meshy motos, Meshy moto bits as well. Yeah, no messing. In the cooler. Um, T25 turbo offer. No, no, sorry. TD05 turbo offer. Super. Mad. Drop a comment below if you want to see a video of Aaron sending this around on the roads. Whilst we're here on the subject, EBC, uh, I've also got another set of pads. Obviously these pads you've seen on track day were in Chris's McGann, which I put in there. But now I'm going to put in these mines, so the RPX, uh, like I said, mental good pads are really good. And I can't wait to go up to EBC soon and see all the guys and uh, have a big discussion about everything. Um, big ratchet strap to basically strap down the gearbox. But we'll take these in, show our knees, see what he thinks of these. <laughs> There's a boost control valve and everything there because we took that off to put on Chris's car the other day. Uh, but yeah, I think Aaron's doing a few bits on the golf first and then uh, get the Megan in. The car's in. Time to start troubleshooting as always, trying to find what's going on. Well, we know what's going on with the gearbox, so that's fine, that's all going off. 
it's just the engine thing. So Aaron's going to do a compression test. A minute, see what's going on. It sounds a lot better than it did before. Don't get me wrong. Uh, since we put the RS tuning map on it, it sounds a lot better. So let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, typical fucking rent French shit breaking again. We love it, don't we? Wow. Well, yeah. <laughs> My bank balance doesn't love it, but we love it. Gives you something. So a few other modifications were actually put on the car whilst the box and maybe the engines out is the clutch, damp clutch dampening kit. Aaron can do that easily. Uh, we've got to put the drive shaft spaces on as well, which Aaron's going to do. Um, but I'm going to leave the car with him now, so you probably not, all of it don't. It's not getting done tonight, so don't expect this video for it to be all done because the gearbox and everything's got to be sent off yet, and a new one's got to come back. But we're getting there. It's all good. I will have a good time on track with this very soon, hopefully. And uh, it's just a shame I didn't get go out with Aaron and the boys because it was an absolutely incredible track day the other day. It's been really good to have the car there. But nice to see as well. Aaron's hard work paid off on the car and see how it performed. But we're here. And at least now Aaron can actually have the car and relax and doesn't have to stress about getting everything done in a rush because, yeah, we, we are literally, we used to be on so shit time schedules, it was unreal, Aaron's working around the clock, but he can relax now, he's got the car here and he can chill. Also as well, it means that when everyone's done, he can actually corner weight it properly and everything will be good and we'll get the case back in. Nowadays, nothing really is nice when only one of me and nobody's like me. Phone ringing and I tell him it's Ice. I got wifey you on blinging she Ice. Freeze, freeze, photo, photo, please, please. no photos, no, no, jeez, no, 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 please, no photos. Hit the door and the dumb and just whole team here, money some. Quick one hour in my G. Yes. What uh, what sort of compression numbers are like you would you expect for this sort of car? About about ten bar in, yeah. a, in a normal petrol, so 150 psi. Cool. But the actual figure itself isn't what's important. We're looking to make sure the figures are all even okay. more than anything, alright? Nice. So don't be don't be too upset. Disheartened, yeah. Yeah, if it doesn't suppose on like higher mileage cars you do lose a bit as well anyway. Yeah, you get a bit of blow by and so on but you know, the, num the number itself isn't what's massively important, unless it's stupidly low. Yeah. Just to let you all know, K-Tech did do one, um, but to be fair, they did it relatively after a dyno run as well, so the car was probably still quite hot. So I'm assuming it probably wouldn't have given the best readings, I guess. Um, well, would you say iron or not? Um, honestly, it's not, it's not too important on the temperature. Yeah. Um, compression is compression at the end of the day. You've either got it or you haven't. Well, let's say we got a little bit, but um, I mean, they said that they said on the way home that there's a small possibility that you know it might have been because of I don't know, I can't remember what they said. They said something about um, how it was running before and everything like that, and it might have a I think it might have been to do a blow by or something like that, apparently, what you said or something, but I can't. Could have got, could have got a bit of ball wash room, yeah, that's it. I think it's yeah, they said something about the. Or the injectors or something like that, or like the overfueled. Yeah, because it was all fouled up and everything. Yeah. Because I had to get new spot plugs again when I was up there. Oh, did you? Yeah, and they gapped it and everything like that. So we'll see what happens. We'll let Aaron do his test, and uh, it's either going to be some good news ish or some bad news. Time to get in and see what's going on. Oh, it's going to be a nightmare getting in now. Oh, yeah. Let's unplug all the injectors. Yeah. So what, you just want to literally crank it over like normal? To stop. Right. Well, I said 10 bar, and yeah, you've got yeah, you're nay. 10 bar. Ah, that's right then. Uh, look, that's number one. Send her one, she's right. So as, long, so as long as they all look like that, <laughs> we're Gucci. <laughs> yeah, well, that's for, fingers crossed they man, I'll tell you now. Lovely. A few moments later. Cylinder two, here we go. Uh, she was a bit lower that one, wasn't she? She's two bar down, she is. Shit. That's 30 psi. That's not good. That's cylinder three. That was cylinder three? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Our engines go back to front. Ah. That's the one then. That's not good. Well, boys. Engine could be coming out soon. <laughs> Fuck. Oh dear, oh dear. Happens to me, innit? it? Fucking hell. I'll tell you what, I wish I never bought a cheap McGann now. I think Paul just said the exact same thing. <laughs> nah. I think, I think that is, I don't think that's down to, I think that was down to, it's gotta be like, 
well, a previous map or something, isn't it? Or it could be anything. But it's a high mileage car as well, so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. KTX sell brand new ones. Oh, you can? Yeah. Fucking hell. Yeah, pure motorsport set brand new ones, 3,400 quid. Oh, fucking That's fucking bargain. Yeah, to be fair, true, yeah, for a brand new and fresh, no miles, lovely. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, true. Next one? Yeah, go for it. Alright. I guarantee this will be absolutely fine. Yep, she cranked right up, didn't she? Yeah, nine bar. <laughs> oh, shit. We've had ten, eight, and nine. Ten, eight, and ten, nine, and eight. So if this one makes seven, we've got the full, the full, the full works. Yeah, shit. <laughs> no prizes won for that one. He needs straight tens for that one to win. Alright, last one. There we go again. Can't even see it, it's not even fixing, is it? There you go. <laughs> Yeah. Game over. <laughs> oh, there we go. Fucking hell. Well, that's it, boys. The engine's fucked. <laughs> Nothing more else to say there, really, is there? Well, I've seen worse. You've seen worse? Yeah. Oh, well. We've had a good go, Renault, McGann. We've had a good go. But that means time to get with the big boys. <laughs> yeah, time to go for some big time power. Time to go for some big boys. It gets worse, yeah, boys. Aaron just noticed blow by. We took the oil cap off and it, well, I smelt it, it's stinking a fuel. Was you just checking the dipstick for? Yeah, I was, I was just seeing because it would be a better, better way to smell it because the oil was actually on it. It's still stinking. And it still stinks. It still stinks. <laughs> so you've got two fuel tanks now. Two fuel tanks. Well, might as well stop putting 99 in the old oil tank then. How? That's that then, boys. Well, actually, what causes the blow by then? Um, I would suspect bore wash probably did one of the rings. Yeah. Possibly. But you know, you, you'll never be able to prove what. Until you take it apart. Yeah. Oh, you never be able to prove what done it. Even even then, you won't know. It could, it could be a manufacturing defect that just after having been battered for so long. It's, yeah. It's happened. It's happened. Well, right, boys, what do we decide to do? Well, I think that there is only one simple solution to this, isn't there? Aaron? Well. <laughs> yeah. Aaron's thinking his head like, "Fuck, I've got no engine to build. <laughs> Shit." I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Once they're having on the stand, I really enjoy. <laughs> Well, I suppose we was going to go balls to the wall, so... Well, that's it. And uh, it's just happened a lot sooner than expected, so... It's not, it's not an issue, it's not a problem, you know? Things happen and you just got to get it done. This means we're going to be fucking balls deep in this car even more now. I think you already were, Shad. Oh yeah, I was already quite balls deep, so we're just fucking diving even deeper at the deep end now. So, there we go. Well, we've come to the decision that it's going to be balls to the wall time, so... Yeah, everyone's gonna come out, gearbox is coming out, engine's coming out, obviously the gearbox is fucked anyway, so that's got to be sent off. And then Aaron's just said, you might as well do the gearbox and engine at the same time, instead of taking the gearbox out and then putting the frame back on and taking the engine out, because it's just a whole load of labour we don't need to incur in this. So, um, yeah, that's what the plan is going to do. Aaron's going to go home, look at parts, price everything up, see what we've got to do. Um, once Aaron finds the parts, what I'll probably do is I might ask some companies if I might be able to get some discount or anything like that. Irish tune in or anything like that. One of the other guys that do engines and everything, see if we can get them out, if we can get anything at trade or anything, that'd be sweet. And then go from there. But uh, there we go, boys, that's it. Car's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much put it simple. It'll be back better than ever. Yeah, it should be back better than ever. So Aaron's very confident. And I trust Aaron, he's just built a, uh, a 197 F4, F4RT engine, a uh, forged engine for Alex Howe. Uh, he's done a Subaru, which he wants me to go out in because apparently it's an animal. And um, he's done. Fair, you've done a fair amount of engine work, haven't you? Yeah, well, I've done mine and that thing gets hammered. What, your, your M3? Yeah, I, I have a second track there I did in it. I spanned all the shells on the cranks. Oh, that shit. oh yeah, because they suffer from that, didn't they? Yeah, I took the engine straight out and rebuilt it. That was 33,000 miles ago. Shit. Countless. And she's, st and she's been absolutely loving it since. Yeah, she, she laps up. Sweet. All right, well, there you go. I won't go into the full details of forging parts or anything now because I'll say that for another video and then we'll go full wham. Uh, I'll come up here and speak with Aaron and he'll explain the whole process of what's going to go down. Uh, but for now, there you go, guys. Thanks for watching today's video. It's been a, a messy one, to say the least. I've come out, 
and my bank account's fucking screaming at me now. But it's all good, it's all part of the game, it's all fun, and we're we'll gonna be back better than ever. And this car's gonna be an absolute animal now, so it's just giving my ego so much more fucking boost now because I'm gonna come out of this like an absolute twat and be like, everyone fucking race me, I can have you all now, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, this was mega. So I'll catch you all next video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Uh, please all go give Aaron a follow on Sub7 Auto Works. If this engine build's not gonna give you enough. Of a chance to follow then fuck knows what is what is because i've recorded everything he's done and every bit of work he's done has been fucking mega um i'll tell you now this documentation on this car is gonna be better than any fucking service history you'll ever come across in your life i'll tell you now this doesn't even need service history anymore because it's it's just got videos backed up from Aaron for ages so uh but yeah smash a like on today's video drop a comment down below what you reckon and like i said give a follow to Aaron on his pages i'll drop him the link i'll drop him in the description down below but yeah we'll see you on the next one thanks for watching bye for now